Good morning, children. Good morning. Welcome to webinar. I am TVJ Sri, PGT in Mathematics, Borabanda, TSRS, and Junior College. Today's topic uh, progressions in chapter six. Learning outcomes. After studying of this lesson, you will get some knowledge about arithmetic progressions and geometric progressions. You will be able to understand sequences, arithmetic progression and geometric progression. You will be able to know the nth term of a arithmetic progression and geometric progression and its formula. You will be able to find the nth term from the starting and ending of the AP by using the formula. You will be able to find the nth term of a GP by using formula. You will be able to identify whether the given progressions are in arithmetic progression or geometric progression. You will be able to find the sum of the n terms of arithmetic progression. Finally, you will know all the formulae and concepts related to arithmetic progression and geometric progression. And you will solve the problems by using these concepts related to arithmetic and geometric progressions. Progressions. In this class, you have arithmetic progression and geometric progression. In this arithmetic. Arithmetic is the branch of mathematics that deals with the study of numbers using various operations on them. So basic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Arithmetic progression is a list of uh, numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to preceding term, except first term. And sequences, what is an arithmetic progression? General form of uh, arithmetic progression nth term of arithmetic progression, sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression and geometric progressions. And this, what is an GP? Common ratio and general form of a geometric progression, nth term of a geometric progression. Next, introduction. We have observed in nature many things follow a certain pattern, such as the petals of a sunflower, the cells of a honeycomb, the grains on a maize, maize cap, the spirals on a pineapple and on a pine cone, and custard apple and seeds of a pomegranate, and etc. Not only these, so many patterns are there in our nature. We can see natural patterns, we have a repetition, which is not progressive. So here in the sunflower, the identical petals of sunflower are equidistantly grown. In a honeycomb, 
identical hexagonal shaped holes are arranged symmetrically around each hexagonal cell. Similarly, you can find out other natural pattern in spiral of a pineapple. This is the pineapple. These are the spirals of a pineapple. So like, and let us see some number patterns. Some examples, a list of the last digits, that is digits in units place, taken from the values, that is four comma four square comma four cube, four to the power four, four to the five, power five is four comma six, four comma six, four comma six, and dash. So here, list of last digits. So what is the first one? Four, right? What is last? That is the four, four only. Next, four square, that is four into four, that is 16. It is in the units places, six. So next, four cube, that is four into four into four. That is four, four is a 16, 16, four is a 64. What is the units place digit is a four. Next, four to the power four. That is four into four into four into four. Four, four is a 16, 16, four is a 64. Into four, that is a 256. That is in units place, that is a six. And four to the power five, that is 256 into four, that is the 1024. Okay, one unit's place is four. So, and four to the power five, that is 256 into five. So, that is the 1024 into four. That is 4096. So that is equals to what is that in units place is six. So here repeating. So four six, four, four six, four six alternatively repeated like this. The units place first one is four, second one is six, third one is a four, four six, four six. Okay, next Usha applied for a job and got selected. She has been offered a job with the starting salary of 8,000 rupees with an annual increment of 500 rupees. Her salary for the first, second, third and so on years will be 8,000 and after one year she got the increment 500 rupees so she will get the salary 8,500 rupees. And then after also, she got the increment 500 rupees, then she will get 9,000 rupees and so on respectively. This is one pattern. This is one pattern. So here, the lengths of the rungs on a ladder decrease uniformly by two centimeters from bottom to top. The bottom rung is 45 centimeters in length. The lengths in centimeters of first, second, third, and so on, eighth rung from the bottom to the top are 45, 43, 41, 39, 37, 35, 33, 31, respectively. So can you see any relationship between the terms in the pattern of the numbers written above? Yes. Pattern given in the one first example, the relation of two numbers, one after the other, one after the other, four, six. Repeating alternatively. In example two and three, Relationship between the numbers in each list constantly progressive, constantly progressive. 8,000 here, 
plus 500, 8,500. Here, 8,500 plus 500, 9,000. And what is the next? 9,500. This is the constantly progressive. In the given list of 8,000, 8,500, 9,000, and so on. Each succeeding term is obtained by adding 500 to the preceding mm -hmm. term. Here, in these two, we have to take these two. In these two consecutive numbers, this is the preceding term, this is the succeeding term. This is the preceding, this is the succeeding. Suppose these two we can take, this is the preceding and this is the succeeding. Obtained succeeding term is obtained by adding 500 to preceding term. We can get the succeeding. Add 500 to this number preceding, we can get the succeeding. Like this, respectively. This is the one pattern. This is the one pattern. Okay, next. Whereas in this third one, 45, 43, 41, 39, 37, 35, 33, dash. Each succeeding term is obtained by adding minus 2 to each preceding term. Minus 2. Adding minus 2 to each preceding term. Now we can see some more examples of progressive patterns. This is the one pattern. Here, the number of unit square, squares with the sides 1, 2, 3, so on. Units are respectively 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, and so on. So this is the square. This is the square. This is the unit square. This is, this is the unit, one unit. This is the one unit. This is the one unit. This is the one unit. So this is the unit square in square. Okay, next. This is the two unit square. This is the two unit square. This is one unit and this is the second one. So one plus one, two. So this is the this side is two units. This side is two units. This side is two units. This is the two. This is the two unit square. Two unit square. Okay. Next, this is the three unit square. Three unit square. So what is the here area is uh, was one square. One into one. This is two square. What is the area for this? Next, this is the three square. What is the next? Next is the four unit square in square. That is the area is four square. Next, five square like this and so on. So this is one pattern. Hema put the second one. Hema put the thousand rupees in her daughter's money box. When she was one year old and increased the amount by 500 rupees every year. The amount of money in rupees in the box on her first, second, third, fourth, and so on, birthday would be 1,000 rupees, 1,500 rupees, 2,000 rupees, 2,500 rupees. So here we are adding 500 rupees to the preceding. You can get this. Add 500 rupees this. You can get this. Add 500 rupees, you can get this. Next, what next? Add 500 rupees, 2,500. Plus 500, you can get 3,000. Next, 2,500, like this. So this is also one pattern. Here, each term, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, respectively. Add 500 rupees to the preceding term, we can get the next. Next, add 500 to the preceding, we can get the next 2000. You can get the add 500, 2000. This is one part. We come across various patterns of numbers like. One, three, five, seven, nine, and 
so on. 0, comma, minus 2, comma, minus 4, comma, minus 6, comma, minus 8, and so on. 1, comma, 4, comma, 9, comma, 16, comma, 25, and so on. These patterns are generally known as sequences. These are all patterns generally known as the sequences. What are the sequence? Sequences consider the following arrangement of numbers. So what are the numbers here? Arrangement of numbers, that is one, two, three, four, five, and so on. This is the sequence of uh, natural numbers. Next, one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. This is the sequence of uh, odd numbers. Next, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. This is the sequence of even numbers. Next, 1, comma, 1 by 2, comma, 1 by 3, comma, 1 by 4, comma, 1 by 5, and so on. This is the sequence of reciprocals of natural numbers. Reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 2? 1 by 2. What is the reciprocal of 3? 1 by 3. What is the reciprocal of 4? 1 by 4. What is the reciprocal of 5? 1 by 5. What is the next one? 1 by 6. Okay, and so on. This is the sequence of reciprocals of natural numbers. So next, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. This is the sequence of squares of natural number, squares of a natural number. This is one square, two square, three square, four square, five square. One square is one, two square is four, three square is nine, four square is 16, five square is 25 and so on. Okay, this is the sequence of a squares of a natural numbers. Next, one, eight, 27, 64, 1, 25, and so on. This is the sequence of uh, cubes of a uh, natural number. Cubes, that is 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube, 5 cube, and so on. So 1 cube, that is 1 into 1 into 1, that is 1. And 2 cube, that is 2 into 2 into 2, that is 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8. 3 cube, that is 3 into 3 into 3. 3, three is a 9, 9 three is a 27. 4 cube, that is 4 into 4 into 4. 4 four is a 16, 16 four is a 64. Next, 5 cube, 5 into 5 into 5. 5, five is a 25, 25 five is a 125. Next, 6 into 6, that is 6 into 6 into 6 and so on. So in each of the above arrangements, these are all arrangement of numbers. The, in these above arrangements, numbers are all arranged in a definite order according to some rule. According to some rule. So a sequence. A sequence is an arrangement of numbers in a definite order according to some rule. Here, these are all numbers, call it as the terms. These are all numbers, call it as the terms. This is first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. Here also, and these numbers are all called it as the terms. Here also, these are all numbers. Each and every number call it as a terms. Arithmetic progression. A particular type of a sequences in which each term, except the first term, progresses in a definite manner. Consider, for instance, the following sequences. Here, one, one number one, one comma four comma seven comma ten comma thirteen 
and so on. This is a sequence. This is a sequence. So number two, minus nine, comma, minus seven, comma, minus five, comma, minus three, comma, minus one, comma, one, comma, three. In each of these two sequences, this is the one sequence, this is the another sequence. In each of these sequences, every term, except the first term, obtained by adding a fixed number, that is positive or negative, to the preceding term. For example, in the sequence given in one, each term is obtained by adding three to the preceding term. Adding three to the preceding term. That is, here in these two, first, these are all terms. These are all, call it as terms. In these two, this is the preceding term. Add three to preceding term, we can get four. Add two, three to the, is four. Four plus three, you can get seven. Seven plus three, you can get four. Ten. 10 plus 3, you can get 13. What is the next one? 13. 13 plus 3, 16. Next, 16 plus 3, 19, and so on. In the second one, in the mm -hmm. second one, each term is obtained by adding minus 2 to the preceding term. These are all called it as the terms. In these two, this is the preceding term. In these two, this is the preceding term. Okay, adding two to the preceding term. So that is minus nine plus two, you can get minus seven. Minus seven plus two, you can get minus five. Minus five plus two, we can get minus three. Minus three plus two, we can get minus one. Minus one plus two, we can get one. One plus two, we can get three. What is the next one? Three plus two, that is five. Five plus two, seven, and so on. So all these sequences are called it as arithmetic sequences or arithmetic progressions, abbreviated as a A, B. Next. Arithmetic progressions consider the following list of numbers. First one, one, two, three, four, and so on. Second one, 100, 70, 40, 10, and so on. Third, Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, and so on. Fourth one, three, comma three, comma three, comma three. So each of the numbers in the list is called a term. It's called a term. This is first term, this is second term, this is the third term, this is the fourth term. First term, this is R. First term is one, that is first number R. The number at the first place is called the first term. The number at the second place, that is the second term. The number at the third place, that is the third term. The number at the fourth place, that is the fourth term. And so on. The number at the nth place, that is the nth term. Okay, here, first term is denoted as a second term is denoted as a2, third term is denoted as a3, fourth term is denoted as a4, so nth term denoted as a n. Okay, these are all, call it as the terms. Can you write the next term in each of the list above? 
Yes. So, yes, we can write. How? Perhaps the following a pattern of RA rule. Yes, here, following a rule, here also, here also, and in the fourth one also. In the first one, each term, each term is one more than the term preceding it. This is one, this is two, this is two is one more than the first term. So this is one more than the this term. This is one more than the this one. So that is one plus one, you can get two. Two plus one, you can get three. Three plus one, you can get four. Next term, what is the next term? Four plus one, that is five. Five plus one, that is six and so on. So here in the second one, each term is 30 less than the term preceding it. So this, these two are consecutive terms. And this, this is the preceding term. So this is the 30 less than this term. 30 less than this term. That means 100 minus 30. 100 minus 30 is 70. 70 minus 30, you can get 40. 40 minus 30, you can get 10. 10 minus 30, that is minus 20, next one. Minus 20, minus 30, that is minus 50, next one, and so on. So in the third one, each term is obtained by adding one to the preceding. This is the preceding, these two, this is the preceding term. Add one to this, so you can get this one. Add one to this number, we can get this one. Add one to this number, we can get this one. So here, minus three plus one, you can get minus two. Minus two plus one, that is minus one. Minus one plus one, you can get zero. So zero plus one, we can get one. Next, one plus one, you can get two. 3 and so on. So here, the fourth one, 3, comma, 3, comma, 3, comma, 3, all terms in the list are given. That is the same, 3. In each term is obtained by adding or subtracting 0 to the preceding it. So 3 plus 0 or 3 minus 0, you can get this. This 3 plus 0, 3 minus 0, you can get this. You can get uh, 3 plus 0. 3 minus 0, you can get this. Next also, we can get 3, 3, 3, like this. In all the lists above, we can observe the successive terms are obtained by adding or subtracting a fixed number to preceding terms. Such lists, such lists of numbers is said to be the form of an arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression. Okay, here we are adding one. Here we are subtracting 30. Here we are adding one to the preceding it. Here adding or subtracting zero. Okay, next. What is an arithmetic progression? We observe that arithmetic progression is a list of numbers. Is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term, except the first term. This fixed number is called it as common difference. This fixed number called it as common difference of the A, B, arithmetic progression. Let us denote the first term of an arithmetic progression A1, second term as A2, third term as A3, and so on nth term be denoted by a n and common difference the common difference denoted by the d okay then the ap becomes a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma dash 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 and so on a n so this is the first term second term, third term, fourth term, and so on. This is nth term. 
So how to get the common difference? So a2 minus a1, the second term minus first term is equals to third term minus second term is equals to so uh, is equals to a n minus a n minus one it is equals to d. So next. Observe the following, which of these are arithmetic progressions and why? So these are given list of numbers. These are the given list of numbers. This is the given list of numbers. This is here in these three, which are arithmetic progression and why? So here, these two, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 5, 5 comma 7, 7 comma 8, 8 comma 10 and 15 and so on. Here in these two, this is a 2 and 3. This is the preceding term. This is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. So here, what is the common difference? A2 minus A1, that is 3 minus 2. We can get 1. Here, A3 minus A2. 5 minus 3, we can get 2. So here we can get 1 and we can get 2. Common difference here in these two? 1. Here common difference is 2. Here common difference 7 minus 5. That is common difference is 2. Next, a 5 minus a 4. That is 8 minus 7. This is 1. Here, 10 minus 8, that is the 2. Here, 5. So, common differences are here 1, here 2, here 2, here 1, here 2, and here 5. So, common difference is not same. So, that's why this list of numbers are not in AP. This is not in AP. Okay, next. 2. 5, 7, 10, 12, 15, and so on. So what is the common difference in this? This is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. So A2 minus A1, that is 5 minus 2, that is equals to 3. A3 minus A2, that is equals to 7 minus 5, that is equals to 2. 10 minus 7, here 3. So, what is the common difference here? 3. Here, 2. Here, 3. Next, 2. Next, 3. So, this is a common difference is not same in, the, in this list. So, that's why these list of numbers are not in arithmetic progression. Okay, next. Third one. 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Here, what is the common difference of these two? A2 minus A1. 3 minus 1. That is equals to 3 minus 1. That is equals to 2. Next, 5 minus 3. That is equals to 2. 7 minus 5. That is equals to 2. Gosh. So, common difference is same in this list of numbers. So, that's why... This list of numbers are in arithmetic progression. This is the arithmetic progression. This is not arithmetic progression. And this is also not arithmetic progression. Why? The common difference are not same in this list. And common difference also here, not same. So that's why these two are not arithmetic progressions. So this is only the arithmetic progressions. Why? The common difference is same in this given list. Okay, next. Let us see some more examples of an arithmetic progression. Heights of some students of the school standing in a queue in the morning assembly are 147 centimeters, 148 centimeters, 149, and so on, 157. Here, increasing 1, 1, 1, 1, like this. So, this is an arithmetic progression. And 
minimum temperatures in degree Celsius recorded per a week in the month of January in a city arranged in ascending order are it is minus 3.1 comma minus 3.0 comma minus 2.9 comma minus 2.8 comma minus 2.7 comma minus 2.6 comma minus 2.5 here decreasing temperature constantly so temperature decreasing constantly so here increasing heights constantly so this is ap and this is also ap the balance of money in rupees after paying 5% of the total loan, 1,000 rupees. Every month, so they're paying every month 950 and 900 and 850, 800, dash, dash, so on, 50. So, what is the loan amount? 1000 rupees is the loan amount on that 5 percent what is the 5 percent so 50 rupees so they are paying loan so taken loan the 1000 rupees okay paying the 5 percent 5 percent amount they are paying every month so then we can get 950 next month 950 minus 50 and 900, 900 minus 50, 850, 850 minus 50, 800 and so on, 50 rupees. So here, here also constantly decreasing. So this is also AP, arithmetic progression. 50 rupees is the constant. That is the common difference is 50. Okay, total savings in rupees after every month for 10 months when the 50 rupees are saved each month or each month savings 50 rupees each month savings 50 rupees how many months are saving so 10 months okay first month 50 rupees second month 100 third month 150 and fourth to 200 fifth to 50 sixth 300 seventh month 350 8th month 400 rupees, 9th month 450, 10th month 500 rupees. Here also the list of numbers that is increasing constantly, that is the constant term, that is common difference is 50 rupees. Okay, next. General form of an AP. General form of AP can be written as a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d and so on this is called the this is called the general form of an a p where a is the first term and d is the common difference for example 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 dash 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 what is the first term here one is the first term. What is the common difference? Two minus one, that is one. Three minus two, that is one. So first term is one and also common difference is one. And take one more list. That is two comma four comma six comma eight comma ten and so on. What is the first term here? What is the common difference? What is the first term? Two is the first term. That is, two is the first term. <clears throat> so what is the common difference that is 4 minus 2 is 2 6 minus 4 that is equals to 2 8 minus 6 that is equals to 2 so common difference is 2 first term is 2 and common difference is also 2 okay so what is the general form of arithmetic progression it is a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d and so on a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay, next. Proof of nth term. Proof of nth term or general term of an arithmetic progression. General term. 
this now we observe no a a plus t a plus 2d a plus 3d a plus 4d and so on a plus n minus 1 into d here let a be the first term a be the first term and common difference is d d be the common difference of an arithmetic progression then its nth term or general term nth term or general term is a given by a n that is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d so proof how to prove this one so let me know that uh, a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on an is a given arithmetic progression then a1 a1 is the first term a1 is the first term first term what is the first term here a what is the first term a so that's why a1 is equals to a so how to write this is a1 that is equals to a plus 1 minus 1 what is one here this one is the term number minus 1 into d what is the term here a1 a1 so that's why term number is 1 minus 1 term number minus 1 into d so 1 minus 1 is get cancelled so this 0 uh, 0 into d we can get 0 so this term totally gone so that's why we can get a1 that is equals to a what is the first term a1 a1 that is a okay next since each term of an arithmetic is obtained by adding common difference to the preceding term so except first okay so that's why we can't add here okay therefore a2 a2 is the second term here a1 is the first one so this is a preceding term add d common difference okay add common difference to the preceding term this is the term we have to find this is the term a2 that is equals to preceding term plus common difference a1 plus d what is a1 a1 is a okay a1 is a a plus d so what is the second term a2 is equals to a plus d a2 is equals to a plus d so how a2 is equals to a plus term number what is the term number here 2 is the term number 2 is the term number 2 minus 1 into d 2 minus 1 what is sir? 2 minus 1 is 1 1 into d that is d so a2 is equals to a plus d we can get a2 is equals to a plus d this is there in the general form now we have to prove okay okay this is a1 is equals to a this is a2 is equals to a plus d okay next similarly we have a3 that is equals to a2 plus d a2 plus d a2 what is a2 a2 is a, a plus d plus d we are adding common difference to the preceding term preceding term is a2 a2 is a plus d a plus d plus d so a plus this is the third term third term so a3 is equals to a plus this two how will get this one term number 3 minus 1 term number 3 minus 1 into d okay a plus 3 minus 1 that is 2 into d this equals to 2d a plus 2d this is the third term a3 is equals to a plus 2d okay and a4 this is a4 a3 plus d 
A3 plus B. A3, what is A3? A plus 2D. A plus 2D plus D. A plus 2D plus B. Okay. That is A4. Remove the brackets. You can get A plus 2D plus D. That is 3D. A4, that is the fourth term, is equals to A plus 3D. Okay. A4 is A plus 3. I will get this 3. So, term number minus 1. Term number, what is the term number here? 4 minus 1 into D. 4 minus 1, that is equals to 3. That is A plus 3 into D, 3D. Okay. Next, observe the patterns in the equation first, second, third and fourth. We find that a n, a nth term. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. Uh, this is the fourth one like uh, a n is equals to a plus. Suppose term number, this is the n. So that's why n minus 1 into d. What is the term number here? n. n minus 1 into d. So nth term. What is the nth term? a plus n minus 1 into d. So, this is the nth term formula, nth term of an AP formula is a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d. Here, n is the term number, a n is the value of a value. Okay, a n is, you must remember this, a n is the value, n is the term number. If there are m terms in the AP, then AM represents the last term, which is sometimes also denoted by L, denoted by L. What is L? This is sometimes we have to represent this AM as L, <coughs> last term. Okay. Uh -huh. Here in this A1, remember this, A1 is equals to A, A2 is equals to A plus D, A3 is equals to A plus 2D, a4 is equal to a plus 3d, a5 is equal to a plus 4d, and a6 is equal to a plus 5d, and so on. A n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. Just one minute. Thank you. <clears throat> Today, we have discussed about arithmetic progression, and in this, terms, common difference, and nth term of an AP. Okay, now just I'll give one problem only. You make a arithmetic progressions, five arithmetic progressions. Okay, you make the five arithmetic progressions in your own. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, madam.